Well, well, well. Hello again, hello again, and welcome back to Won't Be a Bible. And thank God for giving us another opportunity where we can come teach the children something about His power and His grace and His love. We sing our team song.
one of the most beautiful things in life is to have a friend um, because we we need one another. Right? We need one another. We need you need me, I need you. And uh, if you fall down then you need me to help you to, to get up. I fall down, I need you to help me to get up. But one of the things that happens in life is that as children we have friends and sometimes I see our children talk about their bestie. This one is my bestie. Yeah. And um, then afterwards I see them being mean to each other. And I ask them like, what happened? So I hear, well, we had a fallout, right? Of something. Sometimes you don't know what it is, but they don't want to speak to each other again. Um, <laughs> sometimes when children have issues, I, I learn to, to let them work out their problems. Sometimes if it's something that I think I need to get involved in, then I will, but they have to learn to work out their problem, whatever it is, because sometimes uh, you say, oh, she was mean to me, or he was mean to me, and he didn't share his, his cake with me, or he didn't let me play the game with him and all this sort of thing. But one of the things you have to be careful of with children as children is who you choose to be your friends. And um, make sure you, most of us have the privilege of growing up in a home, whatever that might be. It might not be more like it won't be a mansion, it might just be an apartment, it might be just a room, or I don't know what it might be. But your parents will teach you certain things about about life and make sure you don't get into friends. Yeah, what your parents tell you, don't get into bad company. Right? Bad company. And you know when it's bad company. Well you know it's bad company. Oh you know. You know because you can tell by the things that they're talking about. Yeah, you can tell the the things they're saying, um, you say, but hold on. You say, no, what would mommy say if she ever heard this? I mean, what would daddy say if you ever heard this? Right? And sometimes children get to the point where they disregard what their parents said, you know, and they just run ahead um, and forget, uh, forget what their, um, their parents say. Right? In the Proverbs, it speaks a lot about the son and the father, and here's a scripture that said, My son despise not. Um, uh, let me read this one here in Proverbs 2, verse 1. My son, if thou receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou uh, incline thine ear unto wisdom and apply thine heart to understanding, then if thou Christ after knowledge and liftest up thy voice for understanding, if thou seekest for it as silver, and searchest for it as for treasures, then thou shalt understand the fear of the Lord, and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. And there was a scripture, I forgot to look for it, but it says, um, it says, My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. See, you know, many people have been armed caught in the situation, right? Their friends say, let's go somewhere, right? They didn't listen to their parents and their parents maybe thought they were at school or they thought they were at home because they realized they say, at certain time the children somewhere at home, so they thought at home. Maybe sometimes they slip out. I see those things and even at movies, people, parents take the child at home. One came and they, and they jump through the window and slide through it with a rope and they gone to the party or wherever they gone and wherever they gone to the game. And your parents at home thinking maybe you're at home and maybe think you're watching your TV or in, the, in your bed sleeping. And when they realize um, afterward the police call them and they say, well, like, um, are you, you know, David, Mr. David Ferguson? I said, yes, I am. He said, well, uh, well, your son, you know, I'm, I know my son not going to be doing that, but I'm just saying, um, I'm just saying to you that this is the thing, I, and the, because your, your child went out with some bad company, and when he went out, right, they went out and they saw somebody, they hijacked their car, and you, when the police came, the police is not going to say, well, oh, 
This is Mr. Ferguson's son. Um, I'm not going to arrest him. Or this is Mr. Johnson's son. Or this is Mr. Thomas' son. They don't really don't care as far as they're concerned. They caught seven boys in a crime. They locked them up. And if they are with guns and they try to think they're shooting, they might shoot them too. They don't care. Because the policeman don't want you to kill him. So he will shoot first. Right? So the point of the matter is, is at the end of the day, when everything is done, right, you are in bad company. You chose the wrong friends. So be careful of what friends you choose, okay, as you go through life. Um, and uh, the friendship that you make, okay, will determine a lot of what will happen to you. It was just recently I was remembering this saying they used to tell me, parents used to say, they said birds of a feather flock together. <laughs> I have to say, I used to hear that thing time and time again when I was a youth, right? You know, say so if it's um, bad company, everybody's bad, okay? Right? And birds of a feather flock together. So if you are want to be a obedient child, you want to do what is right, then you can't be mixed up with a bad company, right? Stay away from the bad company. Keep friends with those who are doing the things that what your parents teach you, what your teacher would teach you at school, because your teachers are teaching you know, things for you to become a good student, for you to become a good citizen, and you need to grow up to be a good person in life. All right? At this time, we're going to pray. Almighty God, our gracious Father, great Yahweh, and between the children. The Lord of hosts, your name, we shine forth on the earth for your glory. Father, we thank you for your goodness, your faithfulness, your mercy. We thank you for the many wonderful provisions that made for us to see. Father, I pray that you bless us as we go throughout the rest of the day. And I pray for the children, Lord, that they make good choices in life, Father, all of them. And that they be kind and be loving to one another. And Father, I pray that your favor and your grace will be upon them. Protect them from evil, my God. Let them be, be careful to, to, to look out for the things that are wrong and not to do them, my God, and to do the things that are right. Okay, and so to grow up to be good citizens in life and to grow up to love you and to be saved in your kingdom when the Lord Jesus Christ shall come and glory. So, Father, we thank you for your love and your favor. Cause us to rise up before the establishment going out and coming in. Grant the purpose here for lives accomplished us for time and eternity. Cover on the blood of the great eternal life, cover on the mighty wings of the great eternal head. Go before us to pillar of fire by night, but for by day, save us in your kingdom. The Lord is sure the great shall come in the world, the of the kingdom, and the power of the God forever, and the mighty wings of the great eternal life. Amen. All right, so there is a song about a friend, but it's talking about Jesus as a friend. And I'm um, just going to play a little of it, and it's talking about Jesus as a friend. Just gonna play a little of it and I'll break it and come back. All right, so. Amen. God bless you.